is Emily. I'm here doing a Boss Mom interview. It seems to be a theme of things that I'm doing right now. Um, with Amber from the Fat Wombat. Uh, Bat Fat Wombat. Oh, Bat Fat Wombat. We're getting close. We're getting That's close. okay. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about your business, about how it came to be. Sure, yeah. I, um, I've been doing custom orders for about two years. Uh, so that's basically the format of my business and basically just like I love sewing for kids and whoever wants it. I started delving into adult clothes but um, fantastic pattern. Thank you so much. <laughs> I really just, I, I have always wanted to make stuff with my hands and I delved into this custom sewing world, custom fabric world and I got hooked and started making stuff for my kids and realized if I wanted to be able to keep affording it, I had to sell some of it. <laughs> so yeah, and, and honestly, I really do love it. Like I don't, I um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what else to say really, except that I'm, I'm having a lot of fun. It's been two years and I am not ready to stop. And I don't know how I'm gonna go back to a real job. <laughs> So you've got two little ones at home as well? Yes, as well as a 14-year-old daughter. Oh my so goodness. She's pretty self-sufficient, but the little guy is too. Well, and we've, I've chatted with a couple of people recently yeah. that having that age gap, I mean, it's you're in two totally different worlds yes. and your parents and, and that brings a whole other set of challenges yeah. to business management yeah. too. It's true, yeah. Yeah, because I, I, you know, when the kids go to bed, I, I, that's when I find my time for my social media and stuff, but in the evenings I want to be there for my teenager because she's not all over social media so I yeah. don't want to teach her that it's okay so it's really a balance. I stay up later than everybody else in the house <laughs> and uh, I sleep the least. <laughs> so yeah. I feel like that defines mother. Yeah, I think so. This whole right. idea of yeah. sleep or balance, it just, it, yeah. it's all an illusion. No, <laughs> that's true. That's totally true. Yeah. So, you've had the business two years. You do a lot of your selling through markets or do you, are you online? So this is my very first market this baby mama hustle market because yeah I just started doing little bits online like selling to friends and then things have gone out word of mouth and I sew every day I'm busy all the time and so this is my first market as you will actually approach me because she's been following my Instagram and I think it was a good fit as her first market is my first market um, but I, I like the idea like I prepped some pieces but I really do like the idea that People don't have to just buy something they see. They can go through, I have about 100 fabrics at least on, in my album, and they can go through and find exactly the right thing for them and then, you know, make exactly the right piece. Do they want a dress? Do they want a top? Do they want pants? And really funky it up and, yeah, make it unique. Like, I, I hate being limited by what's available in the store. And I actually haven't store bought clothes for my kids since I started the business. I so sew everything, everything's for them. Actually, the only thing I buy are cheapy little undershirts because Mom doesn't have time for that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, no, I, but I love, like, I love outfitting them. I, it actually, like, it makes me emotional thinking about the fact that I'm doing this, you know, this thing, like, greeting something with my hands with that they, my little guy, my three-year-old, Levon, he goes, wow, whenever I hold anything, <laughs> so he's just doing it to be nice, and I've trained him, but it's very sweet. No, he really, like, he'll touch different fabrics, and, and then I can see, too, when I get fabrics in, I know he really was attracted to that one. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. So, two years in business, what's the next kind of leap that you're working on? You know, I think, I think for sure, like I, so in, the, in August too, I started, I did a, I released a PDF sewing pattern. So now sewing used to be simplicity patterns and now it's all like online, you print out your pattern, you tape it together, you don't need to go buy that prepackaged pattern. So we released um, a, a pyramid pattern, a cozy Canadian pyramid. And so we have this little pattern company. I have like over 2,000 people in my Facebook group. Like I launched it, yeah, with a with a girl out west, and uh, and so that's really fun. So it, so if I can kind of you know um, shake it up and not just sew, but create exact patterns and designs I want, then you know we'll see what we'll go from there. I have a full time job that's waiting for me if I want to go back, if and when I want to go back. And the sewing gig doesn't pay me a pension. <laughs> You have to do it because you love it, not, not you know, it's, yep. you're, you're hustling, you're not, you're not simple. Oh, exactly. Yeah. So the one final question, yeah. I touch base on this with pretty much everyone, sure. is this whole illusion of we can do it all, we can balance, there is a balance yeah. between parenting and working full time and yep. running a business yep. and what's the best advice you pass along to someone else who is trying to do all of these things? So the best advice, I guess, um, 
I mean, figure out what works for you. I've asked a lot of questions. I've, you know, put out feelers, but you have to, you know, make sure you're doing stuff that makes you comfortable. Make sure you feel good about not just the product you're putting out there, but you know, everything. Your pricing. Your, you know, uh, but value your time. Really value your time. A lot of girls really do undersell themselves. Uh, we, I think women do that in general. Yes. But I think, um, you know, make the time for for you really to. To evaluate what you want and what you want to get out of it and how it makes you feel. Like I realized some days I was, you know, picking up my phone too much to like see if my shirt got lots of likes on Instagram and I'm home with my boys and the reason I'm doing it is so that I have just a little extra income to add to the family while I'm home with my two boys because daycare is too expensive for two full-time kids with what I was making. Yeah. So I, 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 you know, I don't know. So it was, you know, Prioritizing, that's not important. It's important that I like what I'm putting out there. At the end of the night when everybody's in bed, if I feel like checking it, you know? But I maximize that time. I get up before them and I use my nap time wisely and I don't know. I just like survive yeah. on caffeine. I, I, yeah, you know what? I actually, I never used to drink caffeine and I really started in the last couple of years. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I would say really just find the balance that works for you. It's not the same forever, but yeah. No, awesome. Thank you so much. Um, we're I'm sorry. Post it was, I'm sorry. Was <laughs> no, we're gonna post all of your wonderful, like all of your social media links, your website. So if anyone wants to place an order or learn more about your business and buy a beer cozy or build their own beer cozy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. All your seamstresses out there. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Thank you very much for your time. So much. <laughs>